Hello guys, welcome to the channel. Welcome back to the channel. Today we're uh, back with this audition, 1965 audition, Japanese made, kind of a jazz master copy from 1965. Uh, I have another video on this. If you go back and look at it when I got it, it's a little, it's a whole lot cleaner than it was. It's still not, it's still not great, but we're, we're about to want to wrap this deal up. When I got this guitar, it had been stored for a long time. And what it looks like, apparently, that someone had sprayed it down with a, uh, like WD-40 or kerosene or something and just hung it on the wall and it'd been hanging there for years and it had a terrible film over everything with just dust and grime and time and actually it probably preserved a lot of the chrome pieces on this somewhat but it was really hard to to remove it really hard i used a lot of stuff to try to clean all that gunk off of it so i finally got it cleaned up we're about to get get put back uh you know pretty much had to take everything apart clean everything take the pickups apart try to clean the stuff out of them worked on the switches still not convinced that they're it's going to work correctly i mean it's just old and uh you know 55 years old it's uh you know it's been around so what ended up doing is on the headstock we end up i end up changing the tuners the tuners that were on it were broke part of the gears missing just put some classic style tuners back on it with the you know the white tuner buttons uh took off the string retrain, retainer bar, cleaned it because it looked like brass, but it's actually chrome. So we still like the nut, uh, replaced the binding on this side, the binding was missing. It's not gonna be a perfect match with the old binding, but it's, it's close as I can get for what I'm doing. Um, so, Cleaned, you know, cleaned all the electronics, soaked these the knobs in some cleaning solution for several days to try to get the stuff off of them. But they're there. All the electronics had to do a little touch up soldering on one of the pots. Hopefully that's going to work out. You know, clean the bridge has a little ashtray type flip up where you can load your strings. And luckily it still has this most of the time they're missing so that was good so uh, the bridge consists of a piece of threaded rod with these little wheels and you just turn the wheel to set your string spacing and uh, not sure how that's gonna how that's gonna work out and I don't know the camera's not gonna show it really well but the bridge base somebody has ground it down at some point to get the bridge lower to you know to get more clearance you know apparently they didn't realize you could put a shim in the neck uh, polished up the frets a little bit it actually needs new frets these are uh still awfully rough i mean they <laughs> those kind of frets were rough when they were put on this is a job that I'm doing kind of as cheaply as possible for the customer. It's run, it's one of those things where they've got limited money to put into it. And then you look at the value of the guitar versus, you know, my time. I mean, it really needs to be refinished. I've took and painted touch up paint and touched up a lot of the places where it was chipped but it keeps flaking off it's just the finish is just about gone especially on the back of the neck because we discussed repainting the back of the neck and they decided to just let it go right now as it is so um 
the only thing that was missing that I had to order besides the tuners is I had to order a whammy bar that I hope they don't use. So we're, we're going to get into this and see what we can do. I'm going to try to, I've got, you know, a nut, a plastic nut that came off something to replace this old nut that was on it. I mean, it's crusty and wore plum out. They had uh, looked like a toothpick or a matchstick holding the string up right here. So hopefully this uh, this nut is going to work. What I'm going to do is string it up without gluing the nut because I may have to put some type of shim underneath the nut. But I'll go ahead and get the strings on it and see where we're at with that and then we'll go from there then we'll have to set up this bridge try to set the string space and as best we can and uh intonation there's no such thing i mean there, there's no no type of adjustment for intonation so you 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 have what you have that's it uh I actually have several of the Gibson style bridges. These posts are too far apart and they really don't want to change that. They want to keep it as original as possible. So intonation is however it came, that's what it's going to be. So, uh, you know, these old guitars, I kind of equate them to like driving an old car with no power steering. That's about how these things play. You know, no power steering. So we're going to do the best we can with it and get the best setup possible. We can raise the bridge height up and down. That's all we can do. We can move strings one way or the other. Like I say, there's no forward and back word adjustment on this. The pit guard or the bridge base is screwed through the steel plate. The only way to change, you know, intonation would be to, to try to find it, drill new holes. Uh, and then I'm not sure how that's going to work out with these rollers. So we're just going to see what we got when we get done with that. So uh, let me get some strings on here and we'll proceed. Okay, I got the strings on and somewhat tried to get the string space and somewhere close just eyeballing it just to see kind of check our action out and see where we're where we're at so we'll have to tune this thing up but we're going to see if it even we're going to see if it even plays that'll be a start if it makes noise or not making a little racket so we're gonna see if we can tune it up let me see if I can move this camera just a little bit where we can kind of see what we're doing oh, we hear plenty of racket all right We may get lucky on the nut. I hadn't glued it in yet. Uh, kind of checking everything out before I glue it in to see if I had to add something, but I think I'm gonna be okay. In fact, it may actually turn out to be about right.
Okay, that's the that's the E, the two E's, and I'm looking at this, and it's going to be hard to show, but that's we're pretty high. I may actually have to take a little bit, take this nut, you know, file the nut down. But my main concern was as you know, whether I'd have to add something to the bottom, which I'd much rather cut down on it as I had to try to add to it. So that's got that question answered. And then you can kind of see how our, how our bridge works right there with the wheels. And they're different size wheels. You know, of course, your two center ones are the biggest and then the next size down and the next size down each way. But as far as the nut slots, we're cut on this nut just a little bit wider than the old nut slightly, but we're in good shape on our fretboard as far as our string position. So there's really no adjustment on the pickups either. Uh, what you get is what you got. So we're looking fairly good. So let me glue the nut and get it retuned. Okay, got it tuned up, at least for right now. New strings, they're going, you know, up and down. Got the whammy bar put on. Uh, so that was kind of a, you know, regrettable thing, but they insisted. So, you know, the first time somebody does the Eddie Van Halen dive bomb, it's going to be a it's going to be a wrap, but anyway. I mean, it seems to work okay. And it is a copy, kind of a Jazz Master bridge. It's got two coal springs under there that adjust with these two screws right here that adjust your tension. It is actually a little better than, you know, of course those, after Gibson put those trims on the SG that's just flat, you know, just spring metal. This is a credit to that in my opinion, but anyway. We're gold, we're gold falling, but these switches not sure. A little bit staticky, a little bit. That's the bridge. tune already but uh it's gonna take some stretching a little bit of adjustment you know to get it all all back where it ought to be but overall i think it's it turned out pretty good i mean we got decent tuners on it you know and uh a new nut and i'll probably you know i will have to cut that down slightly we're about 30 thousandths there on the first fret, but I've got to, and I'm down as far as I can go on the bridge. So I may actually have to put a shim under the neck. Not exactly sure just how far I can go with this. It's just gonna take some time just playing with it to try to get it down. You know, we don't want to do a, we don't want to get into too much with this. I've about got more time in it now than I really can justify. So anyway, you know, if you're thinking about buying one of these, just don't. That's my advice. Take these, if you want gold foils, take them out, get you a strap pit guard, put them on it, and ride. Don't fool with one of these unless you just... Unless you just like driving a car with no power steering, 
They'd stay away from these things. They're pretty cool to hang on the wall. They're neat. They they are. They're cool. I mean, they got to be pretty good to be around, you know, over 50 years. You know, these were sold at Woolworth, an audition. So, anyway, we've got a little more modern stuff coming up. We've got a, uh, we're going to have a Les Paul, Epiphone Les Paul Classic that's going to have a, just a basic setup, check out, make sure everything's working on it, and clean it really good. We'll have it coming in. Gonna be a doing kind of a somewhat Hendrixy themed strat. Gonna be some, uh, you know, hand wound pickups, uh, electric upgrades, uh, that kind of stuff. Gonna have that coming up. Just loads of stuff. Going to be out in the new shop here real shortly, so we're going to be out of this hole in here. I'm not going to know how to act to be able to actually move around. Appreciate everybody subscribing. Uh, if you had not subscribed, consider that. I won't try to sell you nothing. Uh, you know, don't cost a thing to subscribe. Uh, don't have to buy no coffee cups, t-shirts, hats, or nothing. You can just hit that button and you're here. Uh, but, you know, hope this was a little bit enjoyable. You know, something kind of different. I can't wait to see this thing gone. So, uh, anyway, until the next time, see you.